Hello everyone. Today's our topic is weather, climate and adaptation. Now the first term weather. Weather is actually about the day to day condition of our climate or I can write this definition like this. It's day to day condition, day to day atmospheric condition. So this one is calculated for a short duration in which temperature, rainfall, light intensity and duration of light, humidity, wind velocity, etc. are considered. But if the calculation, if similar calculation is done for a long duration or long time period, then you can say it's climate. It's an average weather pattern taken over a long time. So you can say climatic conditions are actually an average weather of an area. This climatic condition can further classified as microclimate and macroclimate. First I am talking about microclimate. This represents the climatic condition which are present at local scale. Suppose uh, we are talking about Rajasthan. So Rajasthan actually this one is a dry habitat or you can say it's a desert area. But if you talk about the Kota region, here the conditions are not dry as this one is found in Jaisalmer. So this is actually Jaisalmer. This is complete xeric environment. So this xeric environment is actually about the microclimate which is found in a local area Jaisalmer. But if you talk about Kota, it's a very green area, uh, accommodated uh, rainfall is present here, favorable conditions are there, actually you found mesophytes here. So this is again the another microclimatic condition present in Kota region. But if you do the overall study, then it's over about macroclimate that we present climatic condition which are found in a large scale. Now third term adaptation. It's actually defined as the characteristic feature of living forms to develop over a period of time certain morphological that means external appearance, anatomical that means we are talking about tissue, physiological, functional adaptation and ecological features which enable them to survive and reproduce within a limit of a particular environment. So basically adaptation is being adapted according to the environmental condition. So for its survival organism has to change in its physiology, morphology, anatomical, physical, ecological and all these changes etc. All these changes are exactly make the organism able to survive in adverse condition. So basically you can uh, define adaptation as physiological, morphological, anatomical, physical, ecological etc. changes those make possible the survival of organism in a particular environment. Today we will talk about aquatic adaptation first. Aquatic habitat is actually the water habitat 
that may be fresh water or marine water where organisms live so different kind of adaptations are found in hydrophytes that means aquatic plants and aquatic animals first about aquatic animals if you talk about the aquatic environment the first organism that comes in your mind is fish so i'm drawing a diagram of fish through which you can learn many adaptation Okay, you can see this one is the diagram of a fish. If fish wants to survive in the aquatic habitat, then it has to make various changes in its in its body, and these changes are the first presence of gills. These are required for respiration. Next, presence of fins. These are required for swimming. Next is presence of scales on body. They are required for the protection during swimming. Next, streamline body to reduce friction. these are the basic adaptation required in an aquatic organism now i am coming to the point about aquatic plants aquatic plants are known as hydrophytes they may float at water surface and known as floating plants sometimes they are completely dipped in the water and known as submerged plants and some plants are there those can partially dipped in the water and partially exposed to air they are termed as amphibian plants all these category of plants have almost similar adaptation which are following the first is they have thin ribbon shaped leaves less develop root inactive stomata or only upper surface stomata are active flexible body flexible stem plant body is completely cover up of mucus so basically these are the main important features which are found in every kind of aquatic plants and make them capable to survive in water condition or aquatic condition now second classification second way of adaptation is found it's known as amphibian adaptation we have already seen the adaptation amphibian adaptation in plants amphibian plants now i am directly here talk about animals if you think about the amphibian then the first name arise in your mind is frog so here again i am taking the example of frog that has following features they have moist skin moist and slimy skin for breathing next web feet they are cold blooded animal they can show hibernation exactly if this hibernation is deep long winter sleep to escape from harsh cold condition these all kind of conditions are found frog as well as in salamander which is the another example of amphibian 
these animal can live in water as well as on land that's why they are termed as amphibot by bias bias life because they are surviving on land that's why feet are required for the feet are required for the leaping process here but to swim in the water they are they have web feet they have lungs for land respiration but when they move in the water they require moist and slimy skin for breathing so main adaptations are just before of you now i am coming to the next category of adaptation that is aerial adaptation here we talk about air and in air as you know birds are present so best example to explain it is bird birds have various adaptation first like fishes they have streamlined body next they have wings for flight which are actually the modification of four limbs their four limbs are modified like this and hind limbs are adapted for perching they have beak hollow bones to reduce their weight lungs for breathing well developed nervous system and sensory organs etc these all the feature make bird adaptive adapted in the air condition or aerial conditions i can give you many example of bird like parrot sparrow it's over about today's lecture in our next lecture we will talk about the terrestrial adaptation thank you everyone